straight toward the maddening waters. We descend into the clay and disappear in a thundering range to reach for our own decay. Spirits burn in the distance, calling down the debris of generations, searching for forever, afraid of rising like a river's edge to nowhere. Borrowing light from grief, we honor our relations. The arc of your words will never cease to inspire revolt in the herd. A spark goes off in the barren. The desert creates itself with a word. Where fear is king, mouths are spiteful, and we choke on the smoke of lepers. What language is this? The glorious din of particles, born of dust and fire from other suns, who now speak in muted tones of uselessness and transparency. In this age of eclipse, of how the acceleration will devour us all. What language is this? This is not a world where words are forgotten, nor is this a world in which I will be forgiven. Yet I trudge on and break trail like a goddamn bull. Solace doesn't lie with the civilized. Mercurial by nature, the seeker is never satisfied. When we learn how to see the ritual architecture, we will know how to ask if the sea is, in fact, deep enough to hold all we would burden her with. The bleeding didn't help. The serum still foul. Jaws tight, faces grim preparing to receive the roaring waters. Gnostic repetition on goat skin, singing the spirit disconnect. This land is holy and the truth is vast, yet we have desecrated and defiled our temple. The one-eyed man of the ocean lies in a state of disease and in desperation, seeks to kill the man with the sun. Yet only the vows of nature can dislodge the infected knights from the misanthropic. It's so damned easy to justify the horrors done in your name when your soul has already been conquered and you identify most with those who have conquered it. 